Emily here aka Phoenix Opinion. Today I'm here with a little bit of a different video for you. This time I'm showcasing all of my Final Fantasy VIII collection. So Final Fantasy VIII, if you didn't know, is my favourite Final Fantasy and it's also my number one game of all time. It's a game that got me really into gaming. It set me on a journey that I will never forget. I absolutely love the story, the characters, the music. It really was an unforgettable journey and it's one that's always stuck with me. I got Final Fantasy VIII back in 1999 when it first came out. At that time we'd only had the PlayStation for a short while. We'd only really been playing platformers on it like Croc. I hadn't played Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy 8 was the first Final Fantasy I ever came across. I found out about it on a late night video game program that used to air between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. As a kid I used to set an alarm, very naughty as I had to get up for school, but I used to set an alarm to watch it in the middle of the night and in my sleepy state I did witness Final Fantasy 8 for the first time on there. Back then you could only really see things about gaming on sort of gaming programs and on TV, adverts. It was called Cybernet. It used to be on, I think on Channel 3 here in the UK. And I remember seeing this game on there. I was just jaw dropped. I could not believe what I was witnessing. I told my brothers about it the next day and it was something we begged our parents for. I remember the first day we played it. It was just, it blew our minds. You know, the first time we went into a battle. <laughs> fighting a boss for the first time. It was a lot to take on as a kid, but you know, we fumbled our way through it and really, really enjoyed it. I'm gonna pick the camera up and show you everything and go through it bit by bit. You can let me know down in the comments if you own any of this, if Final Fantasy VIII is your favorite game, I'd love to know. I know Final Fantasy VIII is a bit controversial. It doesn't always get as much love as I think it deserves, but I want to shout out for Final Fantasy VIII and say how much I love it. Hopefully it will inspire some of you to play it who haven't. So yeah, let's have a look at my collection. So this is my original Final Fantasy VIII. Me and my brother got it in WH Smith's here in the UK. We tried multiple places like Woolworths, Electronics Boutique, but they didn't have it. They were all out of stock on the day when we went to get this. Obviously it has the four discs, Squall and Manoa, and disc one and disc two. And then you have Cypher and Edia here on disc three and four. Here is also my strategy guide. This is the original piggyback strategy guide and it's full of strategies and tips. So it has you know the whole walkthrough of the game in the back it also has like all of the enemies like the bestiary but it has like secrets here in the back as well which is also really good and all the cards so yeah that is my trusty strategy guide and ps1 game this is all of the cutscenes on a dvd i think i got this off of ebay so sort of back in the day it must have been really really early 2000s probably about 2000 2001 inside is the dvd back in the day i used to probably make my parents and my auntie and uncle buy me all of the magazines that came with these so I could have them just for my collection. So these are like complete solutions, tips and tricks, tactics and things like that. So really useful. And this one here, this has got Spyro 2, Silent Hill, Gran Turismo and Final Fantasy 8 in it. So this was a special edition PS1 Final Fantasy 8 edition and it actually came with a Final Fantasy 8 demo. It's the official story and telling you about what they're doing after 8. So this was obviously in relation to Squaresoft at the time. This was a special edition of the PlayStation magazine. It had like spoilers for the whole game, the cast, the plot, the whole story revealed. Lovely image there of Squall in the back. Oh, that creepy PlayStation girl. Who remembers that? Interviews in this. Lots of different bits and pieces. Yeah, some great bits and pieces in there worth a read and then here i've got final fantasy 8 on pc inside is a book and you also get the game on pc as well i think the discs are pretty similar to that of ps1 so i'll just show you those as well so we've got school on disc one for the pc and then cypher we've got renoa and then on disc four there's actually laguna this time i actually have my mouse mat. So this is an Eyes On Me mouse mat and it actually has the lyrics of the Eyes On Me song just here as well. I have actually used it a lot for my PCs in the past in my gaming episodes on there. I've also got a Final Fantasy 8 memory card case. As you can see I've never really taken it out of the box. 
and on the back the sellotape has, hasn't aged very well. I don't smoke and neither did my parents or anyone in my family but for some reason things still discoloured. So you can fit up to four PS1 memory cards in there. Next up I have some other soundtracks. So this is the Final Fantasy VIII piano collections. Here are the songs which are on the back. So you have Blue Fields, Eyes on Me, Fisherman's Horizon, Succession of Witches, Amy, Shuffle or Boogie, Find Your Way, The Oath, Silence and Motion, Castle, The Successor, Ending Theme and Slideshow Part 2. So this is a Fethos, Lusek, Vikos, Vinosek soundtrack. The Berry Fatali, Blue Fields, Don't Be Afraid, Balam Garden, Amy, Fisherman's Horizon, Phoebus, Lucek, Phoebus, Venusek, Eyes on Me, The Man with the Machine Gun, Dance with the Blamfish, Love Grows, The Oath, Ending Theme, and Fragments of Memories. So that's what the disc looks like. The orchestra that Nobuo Uematsu orchestrated to play all the Fun Fancy music beautifully. And the piano collection's disc is a shiny silver. I also have my official Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack here. I got this signed actually at a Final Symphony concert that I went to in 2013. And it had Nobuo Uematsu and Masashi Hamazu, the composer that also did Final Fantasy XIII, and some music towards the Seven remake as well. So inside here, the discs are all colour picture. So we've got Squall here, Renoa, and then Squall again here, and Cypher. And then there's also a booklet that comes inside it as well. And also that I keep inside here is my Eyes On Me mini disc single that I got imported from Japan as well back in the day. And again, I got this signed by Nobuo at Final Symphony concert as well. So this is the mini disc, Eyes On Me. And it also comes with the lyrics here at the top as well. Next, I come to my Final Fantasy VIII cold cast statue. So this is another numbered edition. This is number 447. It is Squall and Renoa at the Balam Garden dance. The box again has got very discoloured with age. Final Fantasy VIII Ultimania. So this is a Japanese import again and it just includes lots of different information about Final Fantasy VIII. It's just something I like to own. It comes with a lovely obi as well. This booklet I actually got on a recent trip to Japan a couple of years ago. It's another sort of strategy guide for Final Fantasy VIII. I only paid about 100 yen for this, that was a bargain in a bookshop. It's all in Japanese, but I just like to own anything to do again with Final Fantasy VIII. And here are some little keychains that I own. Again, I recently purchased this in Japan when I went in a little shop that sells figures. This was only 800 yen, so again a bargain. And these were the ones that I bought back in the day. I got these imported. Again, these were little key rings. I took the key ring tops off and I don't know where they ever went. These were because I owned all these figures up here, but they didn't come with a selfie or an Irvine or a Kairos and Award. So here are all of my Final Fantasy VIII figures. So these did all come in a box, which I have. I'll show you that in a second. So we've got a member here, he's pretty cool. And then we've got Angelo, Renoa's doggy, and Moogle and Carbuncle the GFs. And then we've got Edia the Sorceress. We've also got Squall. And Renoa, Cypher, we've got Zell, Laguna, and Quistis here with her whip. So here are the two separate figures of Selfie and Irvine. These have come a little discoloured with age. Nice to actually own the figures that didn't come in the box sets of all the others. Yeah, so this is the only Coca-Cola figurine I own, and this is the Renoa one. Here is a recent purchase as well. So they released the digital edition of Final Fantasy VIII, and it's still sealed, I haven't opened it yet. Here I've got a Final Fantasy VIII wallet. This is something again I purchased off of eBay, I would have thought back in the day. And inside here it just says PlayStation. And yeah, space to fit all your monies. And here is my Final Fantasy VIII vinyl. So I have got an upcoming video of this, so I won't get it all out now. But yeah, this is the actual a gramophone vinyl that I got off the Square Enix website recently. And I'm really looking forward to showing you this and showcasing it in another video. And then over here, these are two other style figures that I've got. Yes, yeah, so this is Irvine. And here is Laguna as well. And it has the PS1 graphics of the characters on the back. I've only got Irvine and Laguna of this set. Here I have an Iron Giant. So he's a late game enemy, as you might know if you play Final Fantasy VIII. And here I have a enemy figure. So this is a Forbidden. So here I have the Kotobukiya figures and the beautiful figurines. They're about 12 inches tall. But I've never unboxed them and put them on my shelf or anything. Yeah, there's six all in all of these and I'll just show you. So we've got Squall and Renoa and also Questis. And then the other three are Selfie, which 
is very beautiful. Cypher, but they all have their weapon in there as well, the Laguna one. This is the first one I ever bought off Yahoo auctions and they all come with a little card as well. So they are all numbered. Here is the PS1 game in a special edition box and the t-shirt that I'm wearing for this video actually comes in this box. So inside you can get a copy of Final Fantasy VIII. So yeah, these stickers you can actually stick on the front here, just on the front. So you've got Squall, Edia, another Squall, another Edia and Cypher and Renoa. I'll just show you the back. It just says Final Fantasy VIII, live the adventure of a lifetime. So these are my Guardian Force figurines. So here we have Bahamut and Shiva. So the boxes have got a little discolored. So here is Carbuncle and Moogle. Also have Siren just here. And she comes with a little cactor figurine just down here at the bottom. Also here I have Cerberus. And these are all artifacts figurines. So again, these are really rare now, I should think as well. I think they did clear versions of these. I only got the color versions, obviously. And also down in the Cerberus box comes a little Angelo. You can just see him in there. Here we have Gilgamesh with all of his swords. So you get Gilgamesh after poor Odin meets his fate with Cypher. And Odin, I do have as well. I'll just show you that in a second. But here we have Diablos. And then here I have the Odin figurine as well. Odin and his horse. Here I have Ifrit. Ifrit comes with a little mini Pombri figure just down here. So these are the cards from the Final Fantasy VIII official card game and perfect visual collection. I've collected all of the visual art cards and I think they're probably very rare now. So these are all character art cards. I love this card. It's the promise between Squall and Renoa. Artwork of Questus, Renoa and Selfie. Headmaster Sid, a Mumba, a Chocobo and a Cactor. Here we have some character cards. All the main characters from the game in-game character models and these are all their battle poses and it even includes Laguna, Kairos and Ward. And here we have some Final Fantasy VIII transport. So we have the Ragnarok and here's some trains and rental cars, Cell's hoverboard. Here we have some in-game cutscene cards. And then I come to just the few cards that I own of the Triple Triad. Some more enemy cards. I have a few boss cards and also GF cards. So we've got Diablos, Eden and Shiva. I also own the Final Fantasy VIII art museum cards. So these showcase a lot of the character artwork by Tetsuya Nomura. Here we have Fujin and Rajin as well. And yeah, here we have some of Yoshitaka Amano's artwork. So he does a lot of the concept art and also the logos of Final Fantasy games. He has a very distinctive style. Some more character artwork cards and GF cards and in-game cutscene cards also includes ending spoilers here if you haven't played it and then it comes down to some more character artwork cards as well so I like to carry a little piece of Final Fantasy 8 with me wherever I go and on my car keys I like to keep a Final Fantasy 8 Griever keychain thank you guys so much for watching as always please do like and subscribe i really appreciate it please do leave some comments down below let me know if final fantasy 8 is your favorite final fantasy tag me on twitter or instagram at phoenix opinion you can find me on there i'll put the links down in the description i'll be intrigued to see some of your own collection if you've got some yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another video thank you for watching guys bye